Hi everybody, it's Adrian again. Today we're going to do another exercise video. Today I'm going to share with you my warm up and cool down routine from our phase 4 rehabilitation classes. Most of you will be familiar with this from the classes, with a few slight changes to make it interesting. Remember before we start, if you feel unwell in any way, not to participate. Any new change of symptoms or medication changes, if in doubt, consult your doctor or your exercise professional. Throughout, we'll be using the Borg scale to um, monitor your intensity. Ranging from 6 to 20, we'll be trying to use the range from light, from 6, very light, up through to possibly 12 or 13, but no more. So become familiar with this. Further information is available on the website. Okay, we're ready to go. So to start with, posture check, nice and tall through the spine, belly button tight into the lower back, shoulders back and away and looking straight forward. You want to pull tall through your spine. I'm just going to start by just gently raising the pulse, paddling the feet, just a light movement with the feet. And to accompany that, we're going to shoulder rolls up to the ears, and round to the back, nice and slow and controlled. Inhale, exhale, make sure you're not holding your breath throughout. Start my watch so we can time it. Okay, breathing in, breathing out, just paddling the feet, mobilising the ankle, getting the circulation going. Shoulder rolls to the rear, looking straight ahead. Excellent. Okay, from here we're going to change it to a heel dig, nice and light on your feet, flexing the toes up to the ceiling, digging the heels in. Remember throughout, if you need a chair for balance or to assist, either here to the side, or even more to here if you need to. Safety-wise, make sure you've got a clear space, you've got suitable clothing, appropriate footwear so you don't slip. And you've got a safe area around where you're not going to trip and slip. And you've got suitable things, um, a, good, a good quality chair, a good, a good size chair for balance if you need to. Okay, so digging the heels in. Let's curl the arms as well. Just raising the pulse a bit more. We're after a gentle raise of the intensity. Toes, 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Again, you can move the arms if you want to. Don't rush the movements, nice control movement. Work at your own pace. Especially if you're one of our respiratory patients, our respiratory people, you must self-pace, very important. So not my pace, your pace. Okay, we're going to go back to an easy march. This time we can use the arms, elbows close. Again, if you find it more difficult, just hands down loosely by the sides. But let's try and use the arms if we can. Okay, we're gonna take it to a wider position. Knee soft, tummy tight, and from here, foot to foot. Exchanging weight, side stepping. Excellent. Okay, if you wish, you can bring the heel up, just like we do in class, or a low option, an easier option, just foot to foot. Reach out, row back. Reach out, row back. Breathe in, breathe out. Reach out, row back. Excellent. Okay, I'm back to a march again. Use the arms a little bit more. Let's mobilise the upper body. Posture check. How are we doing? Good, good. Okay, let's do some shoulder rolls to the front. Gently rolling the shoulders, breathing in, breathing out, 
keeping the feet moving, keeping the feet paddling, and gently roll into the back. Inhale, exhale, all the time, breathing, checking the posture. Okay, we're going to bring it down, have a slight pause, catch our breathing, open the feet, knees soft and to the side, side bends, one, two, three, four, five, and a short stretch, and breathe, short stretches, we want to try and keep the pulse going, just a short pause, and back to centre, nice and controlled. Side. One. Side bends. Two. Nice and controlled. Three. And breathe with each movement. Four. Five. And we're going to hold this gentle stretch. We're just warming up, so not too aggressive on the stretches. And breathe on the stretches. And back to centre. And back to a marching. Low march. Light intensity. Posture check again. We're going to change the movement. We're going to open the feet a little bit and we're going to do toe taps to the back. Tapping the toes to the rear. Pace yourself. If you wish, you can use your arms as well. Either alternate arms, both together. Again, pace yourself. Intensity is light. We're just warming up at the moment. If you're able to, you can put your toe and your heel down. Gradually increase your range of movement, stepping back a little bit more if you're confident. Alternatively, you can do tricep extension, working the back of the arms, kicking the arms back. Breathe in, breathe out. Tummy nice and tight. All we're doing here is either tapping the toe back or, or stepping back and back to centre. Quite a good balance drill as well. Simulate stepping back onto the back foot, transferring the weight back, then back onto centre. Starting to warm up a little bit, we're about four or five minutes in at this point, maybe a little bit longer. Okay, we're going to carefully slow down to a stretch, one foot goes back, heel goes down, lift up to the chest, we're stretching through the calf, front knees bent, looking straight ahead and gently stretching out to the upper body. Just a few seconds and breathing on the stretch, changing legs. Ease into the stretch, change the arm, stretch out the top of your back, push your heel down gently into the floor, breathe in, make sure you're not holding the breath, relax your shoulders. Short stretches, you want to keep the pulse going, bringing the back foot up, back to marching. Maybe a little higher with the feet, with the knees. Pick the march up in pace. Here we can try high knees. Again, nice and upright position. Picking the knees up, up to about waist height. Not too high. Keep your posture nice and tall. Often in class you'll see people trying to raise the knee up too much. It's affecting the posture in the back. Be careful about Keeping the posture nice and upright. The bigger movement and control is better than the shorter, badly controlled movement. So we nice and tight. Possibly using the arms as well. So we're thinking about that scale of RPE. It's getting higher on the number scale. Breathing is a little bit more demanding. So keep it light to moderate. Okay, we're going to try another stretch. So bringing the feet down, 
careful with this stretch, one foot goes back, tip forward from the hip, lift the chest, trying to stretch down the back of the, the upper thigh, nice straight back, and breathe. With this stretch, the chair is quite useful, takes the pressure off the knees, tip forward, so I'd recommend the use of a, of a, a stable chair if you can. Changing sides, so you're stretching the leg it's away from the chair. Weight on the back leg, tip forward, lift the chest, breathe, short stretches, back of the thigh. Okay, we're bringing the head up slowly, get a paddle of feet, keep the circulation going. Back to the marching. Little bit bigger marching now. Think about the breath this scale. Building up. We're trying to achieve an aerobic curve. We'll be starting from light, very light to light, going up, building up to the middle of the workout, which we're approaching shortly, and going back off, down to cool down and stretch at the end. We're trying to achieve that curve of intensity, nice and controlled. Excellent. Shoulder rolls. Just a few to the front, loosen the shoulders up. Excellent. Shoulder rolls to the back. Start small. So I'm just rolling the shoulders, starting with a small range of movement, and gradually getting larger. Excellent. Bringing it down. Some more stretches. Front thigh stretch. Again, if you can't reach the foot, you can use the clothing or the heel, knee to knee, nice and upright on the stretch. Standing leg is nice and soft at the knee joint, stretching the front of the thigh out. It's a short stretch, changing sides carefully. If we can, reach for the foot, knee to knee, standing knee to soft. Front thigh stretch, so nice and tall. Knee soft at the joint. Breathing throughout. We're going to ease out the stretch and back to the marching. Bigger march now. So definitely warming up now. The RPE intensity is a little bit higher. Making sure we're not going above that 12 to 13. Bigger marches. Maybe even reaching up, pulling down, reaching up, pulling down, reaching up, pulling down. If you're doing this over the head movement, make sure the legs, the lower body's moving at the same time. Okay. Excellent. We're going to do an extended bit at this point. We're going to add on some small intervals just to raise the, raise the heart rate. <clears throat> this is an option if you prefer. You can start the cool down, or you can just maintain this steady pace. Interval one, we're going to raise the pace a little bit. Bigger marches for 10, for 9, for 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and an easy march, bringing the, the intensity down. Remember this is an option when you do these at your pace, your intensity, not mine. <clears throat> so recover, breathe. When you're ready, we're going to go again. Here we go, bigger marches. One, two, three, four. Make sure not holding the breath. Five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, and easing down again. I'm trying to do two more. So recover as long as you need. Ready to go again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, 
One. Good. Okay, back to a lower march. We keep him moving throughout. Remember for these we can also use the chair if we need to. It hasn't got to be freestanding. Let's do one with the chair for balance. Going for one, two, three, four. Think about that RPE scale, the effort scale. Five, six, seven, not going above 13. Eight, nine, ten. That was a long one. Okay, bringing it down again.
this point, we're bringing the intensity down, we're going to start our cool down. So bringing it down to a low march, posture check, looking straight forward, tummy nice and tight, belly button in close to the low back, shoulders back and away, and breathing all the time. So low marching, gradually bringing the intensity down. Shoulder rolls, breathe in, breathe out. Just loosening the shoulders nice and slow up to the ears, round to the back and back down. Again, breathing freely throughout. A couple more, breathe in, breathe out. And one more, inhale, exhale. Okay, we're going to go into a heel digs again, using the feet, digging the heels in, flexing the toes, relax the arms down at this point, just gradually bringing the intensity and the pace down slowly. Soon we'll be starting the stretches, these will be longer than the uh, warm up. The aim is to try and maintain the flexibility that the stretches will be longer in duration. Okay, we're going to try our first stretch. So we pause, making sure we've got our balance. If you feel lightheaded or dizzy, start to move the feet again or sit down or both. If we if you feel okay, take your one foot back into a calf stretch, bending the front knee straight through the rear leg. Heel goes into the ground and gently stretch through the chest and shoulders. Breathe in, breathe out. This time the stretch is longer. You can tip forward at the waist a little bit, keeping the tummy tight. Breathe in, make sure you're not holding your breath. Longer stretches. Possibly 20, 30 seconds. Bringing the back foot up to the front, just lightly moving the feet, keep the circulation going to avoid any pooling of blood in the lower body. When you're ready, come to a careful pause. Opposite leg goes back, front leg bent, rear leg straight. And this time we're going to stretch through the upper back. Making sure you're not holding tension in the shoulders, push the heel down, breathe in, breathe out. Stretching through the back of the lower leg and the top of your upper back. Nice regular breathing, again for about 20 to 30 seconds possibly. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice regular breathing. Excellent. Okay, just heel digs again. And from here, I'm going to bring it down a little bit easier into tapping the toes, pointing the toes, toe taps. Again, just a posture check. And some more stretches. Okay, this time we're stretching on the rear of the thigh. I'm going to use the chair to demonstrate this again. One foot goes back, tip forward from the hip, nice straight back. Hold the stretch, but make sure you're not holding your breath. Breathe freely throughout. So most of the weight is on the back leg. Tipping forward, keeping the head up, lift the chest. Breathing. And changing over, using the chair if necessary, opposite side, same stretch. Making sure the weight's on the back leg and we're not pushing down on this front knee. Most of the weight is over the back, tip forward, breathing, feeling the stretch at the back of the upper thigh. Coming up to a standing position slowly, just again, just lightly moving the feet, breathe in and breathe out.
approaching the last few minutes of the workout now. Just intercool down, nice and light, toe taps or lightly moving the feet. It's going to gradually bring the pace and intensity down even more to that low uh, numbers on the RPE scale. Last few stretches. So we're going to start with a front thigh stretch. Again using the chair for balance. Bringing the heel towards the rear, nice and tall, knees close, tummy tight, breathing throughout. Trying to stretch the front of the upper thigh. Inhale, exhale, make sure you're not tipping forward or to the side. Try and keep the knees close if you can, the standing leg nice and soft at the knee joint. Take your time with these stretches. These are longer stretches. I'm going to ease out of this stretch. The same stretch on the opposite side. Again, using the chair for balance. If you can't grab the foot easily, you can bring the knee to the front. Either hold on to the rear of the shoe or maybe the clothing. Knee to knee. Soften the standing knee. Same procedure this side. Breathe in, breathe out. Enjoy the stretch. Feel the stretch on the front of the hip and the thigh. Using the chair to support the standing leg if necessary. Breathe in, breathe out. Excellent. Ease out of that stretch. Just lightly moving the feet. Okay, we're going to finish how we started. I'm going to have to come to a pause, open the feet, a little bit wider than the hip width, soften the knees and to the side. One, breathe, controlled. Two, three, make sure we side on. Four, breathe as we go. Five, and a gentle stretch to the side. Again, holding the stretch for a little bit longer, but don't strain. Make sure we're going to the side, not tipping to the front this way. Breathing in, breathing out. Carefully back to centre. The other side. One. Heads up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Again. Stretching to the side. Breathe. Make sure we're not straining, back to centre, just lightly moving the feet again. Getting a posture check, nice and tall. Inhale, exhale. Just lightly moving the feet. Slightly moving the feet to finish. The last few movements, coming to a pause, opening the feet, soften the knees, loose, loose, relax the, fold the arms, just control twist to the left and back to centre. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe out. Ensure the belly button's close in to support the back and we're twisting through the torso, not just twisting the shoulders, we're twisting through the torso, controlled movement. Breathe with each movement. We're going to hold a gentle stretch, relaxing the shoulders, breathing throughout, back to centre, and again the opposite side, twisting with control. Breathe in, breathe out. Just a comfortable range of movement. Again, relaxing the shoulders, breathe in, breathe out. Stretch and breathe. Inhale, exhale. Arms go down, just again lightly moving the feet. I'm going to loosen the shoulders, breathing in, gently stretching out to the chest and relaxing the arms down. The movement that we do in class, the relaxed movement through the arms, just loose arms, slow and controlled, breathe in, 
stretch out, relax down, and a couple more, nice deep breath in, loosen the arms, exhale back, and again, make your movement bigger if you've got comfortable range of movement through your shoulders, keeping the hands in your peripheral vision, make you can see those fingertips, breathe in, breathe out, excellent, nearly finished now, just lightly moving the feet, quick posture check to finish, well done everybody, finish the workout, I hope you've enjoyed it, please um, check out the website and also the YouTube channel for further videos, hints and tips, hope you're all well, hope to see you all soon, stay safe and stay in, see you, should see you soon, take care.